Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Massaro. Today I'm here with Daisy again and we're in my backyard on this beautiful day. She's gonna help me be a good listener while I explain our game is today. Our game is going to be volleyball. So I'm going to teach you what volleyball is about. How many of you have heard of volleyball? If you haven't, that's okay. You might have seen people playing it inside in the gym, outside on grass or on the beach or even in a pool. go over the skills of how to play volleyball and how to hit the volleyball. If you have one at your house, you could use one that you have or you could use a lighter object. So I have this light ball or you could use plastic bags and tape the outside of it so you have a few plastic bags inside one and it flows lightly in the air. This is helpful so that it doesn't go as fast to the ground like a volleyball would. This helps you practice how to hit. So does a balloon or a lighter, lighter type of ball. So I'm going to be using a balloon today. In a real game of volleyball, you use a real volleyball just like this one. You also need a net and two teams. Like I said, you can play it outside or inside. I'm going to play it outside because I have a lot of space and a lot of room. So I'm not going to break anything near me. You could also play it inside if you would like, but you just have to ask your parent or guardian. You would need a lot of space inside to be safe. So today, we're going to work on types of passes that are in volleyball. The first one is bumping. So this is what a bump looks like. The second one is setting, which looks like this. And the third one is spiking, like this. We're only gonna work on bumping and setting today. So you would want to get one of these objects or whatever you have in your house that would work. So any kind of ball or light airy bag or balloon. And we are going to go over how to bump first. So you need to find some open space and we are not going to use the ball yet. So you're going to just have your body loosen it out a little bit. So for the bump pass, you're going to get an athletic stance. What an athletic stance means is to bend your knees and get ready for what's to come. So you wanna bend your knees and be able to move. So we're gonna bend our knees, and we're gonna put our arms out straight like this. You want your palms up in the air facing the sky, just like this. Once they're like this, palms up, then you put one on top of the other, just like this. Kinda of looks like a little bird. So palms up, on top of each other and then put your thumbs together like this. So you're kind of holding your hands. So palms up, hands together, thumbs together while you're bending your knees. Then when a ball is to come, you want to hit it right on your forearm. So your arms are supposed to be straight out and you want to hit it in this area between where your thumb ends and your forearm. So you want to hit it on both. So the ball is going to come and you're going to push your body up so your bent knees are gonna straighten up in the air. So let's practice. Palms up, hands together, thumbs together. One, two, three, up. Great. So once you practice that two times, then you're gonna grab your ball. So I was going to use my balloon, but I'm actually going to use my plastic bag that I scrunched up and put a hair elastic around because it's a little too windy outside. I'm going to bump by myself today by throwing it up in the air and practicing because I don't have a partner. But if you have a partner, you can throw it to them. They can practice bumping and catching and then you can throw it back to your partner. So let's bend our knees in athletic position. We're gonna put our arms straight out, our palms up in the air, hands over each other, thumbs together and explode up. Ready? So you just want to try to catch it after you bump it up. Okay, now I'm going to try to do it to myself 10 times. I'm going to try to bump to myself 10 times. It's okay if the ball flies somewhere else. You just want to try to catch it. And if you don't, that's okay. Pick it up and start again. Ready? Bump. Bump. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. You also can practice bumping with different body parts just to get used to the ball. So you could use one hand to practice, two hands to practice. But in the real game of volleyball, how you bump is how we went over it. So arms straight, hands on top of each other, thumbs together, and up. So now we're going to go over how to set. So I'm gonna put my ball down. And once again, for bumping, you put your hands together. But for setting, we're gonna get in our athletic stance, put our hands above each other with our fingertips out. Kind of like a lion, except more straight. So you're going to bend your knees, put your hands up in the air, your fingers spread out, have your fingertips ready to be squishy like this. And you're going to make a triangle just like this. And you're gonna look through your triangle and one, two, three, explode up. So bend your knees, hands out, fingertips up and squishy, make a triangle and up. So when I'm setting a volleyball, a real volleyball, you want to have sticky fingers because that's what pushes the ball up in the air so that one of my teammates can hit it over the net. Since I'm going to use a lighter object to practice my skills, I'm going to practice with the balloon. Since it's windy, it might fly away, but that's okay. So I'm going to bend my knees, throw the ball up in the air, and set and catch. Set and catch. So I'm going to do that 10 times. So I'm going to volley 10 times. I'm gonna use my real volleyball because it's really windy out. So I'm going to bend my knees, throw the ball up to myself, catch one, push up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Now I'm going to move over to a wall to practice my bumping and my setting. So I'm gonna go over to the side of my shed to practice hitting it against an object. So you wanna use a wall that has nothing hanging on it and is a wall that your parents are okay using. If you don't have a wall that's okay, you can just practice by yourself, like we were doing up in the air. So since I have this wall and I'm not gonna hurt it because this isn't very heavy and there's nothing on the wall, and it's outside, I'm gonna practice my bumping. So remember, you're bending your knees, arms out, hands on top of each other, thumbs together, and push up. So I'm gonna do this 10 times. One, catch, two, catch, three. And I'm gonna do that 10 times. Then I'm gonna do my setting. So I'm gonna bend my knees again, and I'm going to put my fingertips up, make sticky fingers, triangle, and push up. Ready? I'm gonna do 10 sets. One, catch, two, catch, three, catch. And if you can't catch it, you can let it bounce and then catch it. So you're gonna do that 10 times. Now we are gonna move on to playing our game. It's called Lava Stone Volleyball. It's gonna use bumping and setting like we just practiced. Bumping and setting. So today we're gonna play lava stone volleyball. This is my lava stone volleyball setup. These are my lava stones. There's four of them. They're plastic bags. You can use paper. You could use any type of surface that will stay on the ground. But then I'm going to try to get to the castle side. So I'm trying to step on each of my lava stones to get all the way to my castle without falling into the lava. In this case, the lava is the grass. If I fall into the lava, that's okay. I'm just gonna start over. On each of the lava stones, I'm going to pick whether I wanna do set or a bump. So I'm going to start at the beginning. And at each of my lava stones, I'm gonna to have to do either three sets or three bumps. What's a bump? This is a bump. What's a set? This is a set. So I'm gonna start the game. I'm gonna to get to my first stone without falling into the lava. And I'm going to pick, do I want to bump or set? I think I'm gonna bump on this stone. So I have to do that three times. 
One, catch. Two, catch. Three, catch. Yes. Now I have to get to my second stone without touching the grass while holding onto my ball. Whoa. Now I get to pick whether I want to do a bumper or set again. I'm going to do set. Ready? One, catch. Two, catch. Oh no. Three, catch. Yay. Now I have to make it to my third stone. And I'm going to do bump. One, two, three. And my last stone. Whoa. Whoa. I'm going to do a set. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh. Now I have to get to my castle. Yay! And I got across the lava stone volleyball game. I got all the way to my castle and I found the treasure at the castle again. Good job, boys and girls. Now to end the activity, we're going to go over bumping cues and setting cues one more time. So remember, when you're bumping, that means that the ball is coming over the volleyball net from the other team and is really low. So you wanna bend your knees really low and get down and hit the ball, either back over the net or to a partner or a teammate. For setting, it means the ball is coming over the net or is coming from a player on your team and it's really high up in the air, so you need to hit it while it's coming high up in the air. So for bumping, you bend your knees, arms out straight, palms up, hands on top of each other, thumbs together, and explode up, just like this. Remember to hit it on your forearm, in between your thumb, and up here on your arm. For setting, you want to also be in an athletic stance. Your hands are up, fingers apart, sticky fingers, make a triangle, and look up and explode up. Ready, set. Great job. I can't wait to see you come up with your own lava stone volleyball course with your own stones, either inside or outside. Just make sure you are in a safe environment. You could do this with a family member or a partner or by yourself like me. I can't wait to see you practice your bumping skills and your setting skills. Boys and girls, I hope you had fun learning the different types of hits in volleyball and doing the lava stone volleyball game. I can't wait to see you do yours either inside or outside or with a family member or by yourself. Send pictures or videos and I can't wait to see them. Bye, have a good day.